Welcome to the channel. I am Charlie. This is Mitsubishi L200 2017 model. We'll see what happened inside. I'm sorry because my voice not good as should be. And the other thing, my microphone a little bit play up, but nothing to do. We had to go to our target. I'm sorry. I'll try to give as much I can do my best to give you a nice video. First of all, I'm going to start this car. Right. You can see here, stop start sign blinking and the DPF symbol blinking other side nothing there and uh, you can see the mileage 63,000 2017 model however like this problem we need a computer for take a rough idea I'm going to plug in my computer and have a look what's going on there this is the bullet opener I'll leave the bullet open and I think somewhere OBD2 connector I'm not ah yeah it's here I can feel it's here underneath I'm going to take a high speed scan It's strange, only one code in power section, MPI, you can see P252F, engine oil level too high, that's only one code, no any code for the DPF or nothing, I feeling engine oil level not right, that's why the whole light trigger up, sometimes engine oil level bit high, uh, it's a bit high. I think additional oil escaped to the exhaust system then the, after that exhaust system might be clogged up that's why the that sign however now I know the problem I have to sort out P P252F engine oil level too high right we'll go a little bit further deeper enter read data we'll see any freeze frame yeah same thing read data stream i'm going to select this too i feel exhaust temperature get okay but the exhaust volume little bit high for me i'm not 100 percent sure of this car because uh, very rarely we are going to do this car anyway i have uh, some idea in my mind however i'm going to leave it everything mm, i think this car doesn't have a ad blue system mm, we'll see deep pressure Boost pressure a little bit high, 14.988. That's mean I'm feeling DPF bit block. Okay, right. I'm going to exit from here, and one more thing I'm going to do. I'm going to clean this thing and have a look is it possible to clean I'm going to clean yeah it's not possible to clean it's come back once I clean as soon as it will come back right that's mean no any 
pluck with the green in this one we have to sort out then i'm going to switch off and go into the engine bay and have a look how about the engine now sometimes very difficult to do everything with one hand manage to open the bonnet then i'm going to check the oil level luckily this vehicle has a dipstick here then we can check the oil level without any problem because if some vehicle doesn't have a dipstick then little bit nightmare to check the oil level however you can see this is the maximum level second dot this is the low level we'll see what's going on here look at that it's here see it's the maximum level and it's until here maybe look like to me triple the limit i need to do the at least oil service and clean dpf then car take back to the normal and i had to ask him to check the oil level every other week make sure everything all right i don't know what's the cause for the oil level too high however give me a five minute i'm going to contact customer and i'll come back to you right i got the all information basically this car overdue for service i feeling might be the injector spray too much diesel for the system that's why oil level too high could be never know i had to ask him keep it eye for the oil level however i'm going to do the oil service first and after that i'm going to remove this sensor this is temperature sensor it's very hard to remove if i can remove it i'll remove from here and inject dpf cleaning stuff here if it not this is the you can see this is the pressure sensor then we can go until other end find the tube from inside there then i'm trying to inject there however i'm going to spray wd-40 here and leave it until i'll finish oil service then it's wd-40 might be helpful remove that sensor basically by experience i know that sensor very tight but if i can remove there life going to be a bit easy okay then i'll show you how am i going to do the job job mean the oil service first i'm going to jack up the car and need to go underneath and have a look we ask the draining plug and we ask the oil filter right i already drained the oil there's a sump nut when you're going to read to sump nut you need to remove that cover it's holding 13 mil maybe 8 10 screws then after that i already changed the new oil filter now i'm going to top up the correct level and start the car at the same time try to remove that temperature sensor and inject dpf chemical from there top up correct oil and i'll check the dipstick it's in correct level then after that i'm going to close oil cap and start the car left car running five minutes now i'm going underneath and check any oil leaking surround filter area and the sun plug area yeah 
I am happy. No any leak. And then after that, I am going to install underneath cover and lower the jack and try to start top of the engine bay thingy. Again, I am going to check the oil level. Now vehicle in level surface. Wipe the dipstick, install and check the level. Little bit low, it's need to top up. Then I'm going to top up and check the oil level again. Yeah, it's correct level little bit below the maximum level that's why it should be now oil level fine I move to the next step this vehicle is supposed to hold 8.2 liters roughly we'll see how many oil liters it's held Five liters here. Ten liters there. And another maybe one liter or might be six hundred, seven hundred. Nearly eleven liters. Yeah, something not right. I feeling too much diesel in the oil system. That means something not right injectors. However, I'll ask customer to keep eye too early to say anything at the moment. I'm going to inject DPF chemical through this pressure sensor. I'll already remove the sensor. And I'm going to inject from there. People ask why Charlie you are using pressure gun. This is the reason I'm using pressure gun. Have a look. See pressure gun. See. I remove this temperature sensor and try to inject from there because that hole inside not big enough to me then it's not going my line through that one then I install this one then after that I remove this pressure sensor first line then after that I connect my see through this line then after that I'm going to inject from here Right, now it's in and I'm going to inject. Right, I already inject one liter to the exhaust system, 130 psi power. Then after that, I'm going to start the car.
right done the service done the dpf clean now i had to time to play with computer and remove this warning light right now we need to go special function it say installation because if you have a like a cheaper computer sometime it might be not helpful for do these steps this one then after that you see engine oil exchange service right even if you try other option it's not going to be work this is the only thing i think going to be work yes right after that confirm status completed exit now i'm going to switch off the car and start you can see now warning light was there before all disappeared i done the dpf cleaning process and uh, change the oil and oil filter after that reset with the computer you saw you can see here now i zero the trip mileage now i'm going to take to the motorway roughly around 30 miles and have a look how is this vehicle behavior before i hand over to customer let's go for a motorway journey then nearly complete seven miles no any warning light at the dashboard we'll see we have to go another more than 10 miles we'll see how it's going on take a, any faulty cord left there high speed can you can see here under the power train nothing that's mean all good all nice if you have a like this problem you know what to do how to diagnostic how to clean dpf how to check engine oil and refill now if you have a this problem you know what to do please follow this video end of the day you will be fine if you have any question comment suggestion please mention below i'll come back to you as soon as possible yeah Thank you very much for following us. See you in the next video.